This podcast will focus on poisoning, toxic effects, adverse effects, and the underdosing of drugs. By definition, an adverse effect is when you've got a condition caused by a drug or another substance that was used correctly and it's just created an adverse effect for the patient. Poisoning is a condition that's caused by a drug or a substance that's used incorrectly. A toxic effect is a condition caused by ingestion or contact with a harmful, harmful substance. And underdosing, a condition caused by taking less of a medication than is prescribed by a provider or a manufacturer's instructions. When we're coding an adverse effect, we're going to put the code that indicates the nature of the adverse effect first and then the combination code, which is in the T codes, that includes the adverse effect and the responsible substance following. That's the range of T36 to T50. When coding an adverse effect of a drug that has been correctly prescribed and properly administered, assign the appropriate code for the adverse effect of the drug, T36 through T50. The code for the drug should have a fifth or sixth character five to indicate it is an adverse effect. Here's an example, Coumadin intoxication. Coumadin intoxication due to a cumulative effect resulting in gross hematuria initial encounter. We're gonna code the gross hematuria first, that's the nature of the adverse effect. And then by going to the table of drugs and chemicals and looking up Coumadin, in the adverse effect column, we get T45.515, adding the seventh character A because this is an initial encounter. When coding a poisoning or a reaction to the improper use of a medication, that could be an overdose, the wrong substance given or taken in error, the wrong route of administration, you're going to assign the appropriate code from categories T36 to T50 and the poisoning codes have an associated intent as their fifth or sixth character. And the associated intent is referring to was it an accidental intent, was it intentionally meant to harm oneself or another person, or is it undetermined? Use additional codes for all manifestations of poisonings. If there is also a diagnosis of abuse or dependence of the substance, the abuse or the dependence is assigned as an additional code. Example of poisonings that would be an error made in a drug prescription, an overdose of a drug intentionally taken, a non-prescribed drug taken with a correctly prescribed and properly administered drug, and an interaction between a drug and alcohol. So here's an example. Two-year-old patient ingested an unknown quantity of his mother's Enovid, which is birth control, initial encounter. If you could not find the medication by name in the table of drugs and chemicals, you could search for that, the name of that or the classification of that drug using the search engine on your desktop to find out what type of medication it is and what it is used for. Going to the table of drugs and chemicals and looking up Enovid, it is there and you're going to go to the accidental poisoning column. Seventh character A is added to indicate this is an initial encounter. Again, is it an adverse effect or is it poisoning? The determination is based only on whether or not the substance was correctly prescribed and properly administered. If it was correctly prescribed and administered, it's an adverse effect. If it was incorrectly prescribed and or administered, it is a poisoning. Now let's look at underdosing. Underdosing codes should never be assigned as a principal or first listed codes. If the reduction in the prescribed dose results in a relapse or an exacerbation of a medical condition for which the drug was prescribed, the medical condition itself should be coded first, and then you're going to add non-compliance or com complication of care along with the underdosing code to indicate intent if you know it. And here's an example. Patient was admitted for treatment due to complications from diabetes type 2, which include polyneuropathy and proliferative retinopathy with macular edema. 
patient was using an insulin pump at home. However, she told the physician it had not been working correctly for some time, and she found out this morning from a service technician the pump was not delivering the full prescribed dose of insulin. So it is an underdosing because of the pump malfunction. And there is a guideline specific to underdosing of insulin in the Chapter 4 guidelines where the underdose of the insulin due to insulin pump failure, underdose is assigned to a code from subcategory T85.6, mechanical complication of a device, and then you're going to add the T38 code for underdosing of the insulin. And then, of course, you're going to add your diabetes codes. So there's an example of underdosing. I know I've gone through these quite quickly, so please be careful reading your coding guidelines, using the proper sequence of your codes. If you have any questions with anything to do with uh, the coding assignments, please put your question in the discussion board along with the path that you used to try to find the answer, and I'll be glad to try to help you. Thank you, and have a good day.